Hi, I'm Lisa DeSales and this is my show at Gallery 76 in West Cornwall. And um, yeah, so it's Meditations on Containment. Um, this year has been really challenging, especially for me, because um, I come from the Shoalhaven and um, at the end of 2019 and beginning of 2020, we had the Coralwind fires, which lasted for 74 days. So, um, yeah, I've had the chance to kind of, I don't know, reflect on the year, and uh, it's been a heavy going year. So, um, but also I've had a lot of time to make um, and be productive in my practice. So, I was really pleased to be able to, and honoured to be able to, you know, have my work on show here. So I guess I'll just start off with this piece here, which is um, made, it's a bit of a collaboration because my framer um, made the box for me and I've got a nice piece of um, hardwood, which is driftwood um, that came after the bushfires. And after the fires, I went out onto the beaches and harvested a lot of driftwood, which you'll see um, in some of the other work. So this piece is Archaeology of the Self and I guess I had a, a lot of time to reflect on my art practice but also how ancient basketry and um, weaving skills are. And um, I, you know, kind of birthing this piece actually allowed me to tap into my ancient self and um, yeah, just kind of, it, it just came out very organically and I guess it's it's the shape, you know, I see the shape of a person or a woman in this one. Um, yeah, and it's a very earthy, organic piece. Uh, this is a little series that I made using um, paper and again I've combined driftwood but also this time I, um, as I had been gifted uh, uh, many bobbins, uh, the steel bobbins, I decided to have a bit of a play and, and be light and playful because it's been such a serious year um, for many of us and um, I kind of thought of how, you know, this kind of industrialised society of kind of excess, um, you know, is, is kind of embedded in, in the meaning of the pieces as well. So the, the hardness of the steel and the softness of the paper, but paper's also very strong as well. And um, these pieces are all twined. Um, yeah, so these are the buds, these are the blooms, and this one is the blossom opening out into a beautiful container. So uh, this series is also combining uh, the found objects and um, this piece here, Remembering, is um, part of my Tools for Transformation series. So I guess um, for me, that I'm tapping into the ancientness of, of the craft that I practice, um, but also combining, you know, uh, elements of having the crystal and the power hormones, so they're quite symbolic. Um, yeah, and um, I've combined uh, wax linen and paper. And this one here I, I built out of clay, so I've used a clay head on the driftwood and I've added in seagrass, paper, and I've added beads into this one as well, so it's quite beautiful. I've, Again, this one is kind of my favourite. Um, yeah, and they, these ones, they're all meant to be handled, so they're quite tactile. Um, they're, these three here are rattles, so this one's got rice in it, and these ones have got uh, small crystal chips in them. So you can read into them what you like. So these are my Calistamon uh, series, or bot brush. Um, again, I wanted to evoke a sense of playfulness, so when you look at these pieces from a distance, um, that they look intriguing, and as you get up close and intimate with them, you see that they're actually small gold safety pins woven in with the paper, and I've got hemp here, and again, driftwood uh, from the coral and fires that's 
just washed up onto the Jervis Bay beaches. Um, yeah, so, and they're bright and lively and gorgeous. <laughs> this piece here is entitled Fire Dance. It's um, twined paper. Um, I'm, I've been quite prolific in making a series of wall mats over the last couple of years. And this one in particular is, um, you know, it's the sparks of the fire and then um, I, I dyed, I hand dyed all the ends of the paper as well so that it evokes that feeling of, of being in the fire. And then relating to the rest of the work, it, it's kind of what happens after the fire is all the beautiful new growth and um, lightness and joy that comes from seeing that. And that one thing I really wanted to um, bring out in this show was that lightness of being that, that happens when, um, when you've been through trauma. So this large wall mat is entitled A Green Dream and it, um, it, it comes from that feeling after the fire again, you know, and um, my thoughts and, and hopes that were kind of happening earlier in the year um, for what I wanted to see after the fire. Um, because we, you know, we know that through indigenous um, fire burning practices that it was done for a reason. We know what comes next in the Australian bush, um, the regeneration and um, love of the land and, and love of our country. This piece is entitled Ethereal Apsara and again it's, it's a playful piece inspired by um, a young woman that I met at a dancing camp years ago and we were just being in the moment and being outside in nature and um, yeah having that again that lightness of being um, I, I hoped to evoke kind of movement and freedom in this piece. Um, it started off very tight in a square and, um, and then kind of opened up um, into, yeah, play. So this piece is, kind of, is inspired by the sand dunes and, um, yeah, uh, and the circle again is another big theme in my work because you know the cycles of nature are circular so the fact that we went through the fires and we came through regeneration and then went into pandemic and you know we, you look at all these different cycles that, that keep going throughout time so you know um, yeah so that concludes my virtual tour of show. Um, I hope that you can all come along and have a look up close at my work at Gallery 76.